friends, Ryan here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well and staying safe, happy, and healthy. Well, Seth James Moore, you have the studio. I got an entire back room full of beautiful shoes. So winner, winner, chicken dinner over here. And uh, we're over at Gore's yeah. Game. It's that most wonderful time of the year, as it says on the shirt. And old St. Nick is coming in a couple of weeks. And what better time to talk about a few stock and stuff for ideas for runners. So Gore's going to kind of explain some of the products. and. Nice little display of all the kind of good stuff here that all of us runners like to have in our back pocket for when we're trying to recover. And there's some nut butters and all kinds of good stuff here. Some stuff to keep you visible at night. So I'm gonna turn this over to Gordon. And Gordon's gonna talk to you guys about all the good things on Christmas that you can open up on that big magical day. Gord, take it away. Welcome to the back room of Gord's running store. And we've set up a few uh, stocking stuffer ideas for you as Ryan has mentioned. Um, I'm going to start from one end and work on my way through, just giving you a few ideas. Uh, for the individual looking for uh, relief of some of those sore and aching muscles, um, Rock On Athletic Bomb, created by a local Calgary um, person here, young Sil Corbett, and um, basically taking the sediment from glacial clay and, uh, and basically having lots of natural uh, um, medicinal type effects on your body so it's a nice balm makes you feel warm and, and relieved um, uh, another popular item with our uh, long distance runners is squirrels nut butter um, it's basically become our number one choice of lube for a lot of people comes in a vegan friendly uh, format as well as non-vegan and then he knows a small uh, emergency stash size for your your running packs or your your back pocket when you're out in the in the uh, backwoods and you need a little bit of relief from chafing. Uh, hands can be a tricky thing for people. Uh, we have the lightweight gloves. This one uh, starts off as a glove, but you find okay it's got a little bit colder than you need. Out of the back end of the there's a little pocket in here that a little mitt will come out. And it's surprising this waterproof wind bar barrier, how much it'll hold the warmth in, and your fingers will actually help keep each other warm. So it's surprisingly, for a very thin glove, it does do a good job in giving your hands warm. If you're like me and get cold hands easily, then you default to the mitt right away. The, we find the no fell mitt is probably one of our go-to extreme weather uh, as far as going minus 20 type temperatures to keep your hands nice and warm. Um, uh, so that's always a popular one with people. For the head, um, I find a lot of runners rarely go too many seasons before they find out about this product called a buff um, or, or a neck two type thing. You can wear it in a number of different ways as far as the uh, styles and uses. Um, it is a SPF 50, so it has a sun protection factor. So you can use it not just only in the winter as your synthetic layer um, around you. You can use it to sun protect you from that perspective. In uh, the winter time when, the, when it's darker out, this one does have some reflective hits in it, so, so for visibility, so you can be seen. Um, this one is unique that it's got the regular um, buff material on the exterior, but then they have a polar fleece, cozy feeling on the inside, so it's basically more of a winter season one that gives you a little bit more there. Um, as far as the nutrition goes, um, there's all sorts of options, from chews to bars, to gels, um, to even a new product this past season is having um, some of the snacks. Basically like a chocolate bar, so the people who are true chocoholics, um, now you can even use it, get your fix while you're out on the run as well. In the summertime, this one, if it, it gets so hot, it'll melt, it becomes like basically a, a chocolate gel from that perspective. Lastly, the last two items, safety. When safety becomes a bit of a concern, um, some people are looking for different types of grip options. This is one that's fairly quick, fairly easy for a lot of people to put on. It goes over the forefoot of the shoe. Um, gives you five basically carbide type spikes that give you grip on the snow and ice. Keep you safely on a break while you're out there. This one goes over the whole shoe, more like a, a toe rubber that pulls on. Um, again, this one at $39.95, reasonable for that type of thing. 
This one is $9.95, so this one has been a very popular based on price alone. Some people, they feel <coughs> they're going to be exposed to a little bit of snow, a little bit of ice. This one is literally a small crampon that will grab onto the things. The thing is with the crampons, it does elevate you a little higher off the ground. So it may make you a little less stable. Whereas the other two, you do have a much lower profile and a little bit more secure as far as staying upright. Lastly, uh, lights. Uh, to be seen. Uh, the popular item over the last couple of seasons is the, uh, the light up vest. Um, it's a rechargeable so you don't have to use batteries with it all the time. This one also has a sternum light that will go up to I believe uh, 200 lumens as far as so it's still a fairly bright headlamp type thing but comes off your sternum. Um, so a very functional type safety feature. This one is an armband, rechargeable. If I see if we can turn it on, give you a little bit of a show. Different options, you turn it off. And again, rechargeable, so a lot of people like that. Another one people um, like is the is a lumen. It's a clip-on magnetic clip, so very bright. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that to you. But I uh, got a few options, even get the flashing one on there. The flashing light does show up with the people driving out there. It tends to alert people, okay, something's yeah. happening over there. Let's give that, thing, that flashing light a little bit more space. Um, and then lastly, in your neighborhood or whatever, if you're, if you're stuck in a, or just can't decide, you can always default to a gift card. Uh, most stores will be able to load a little amount or a big amount, whatever you choose. And then you let your runner uh, the, uh, or fitness addict uh, go in and decide for themselves what they might like and do and uh, one thing i've almost forgot to add was socks no runners uh, uh, disappointed when they see another pair of socks uh, reminds me as a, as a kid my kids my brothers and i we could hardly wait to get all the wrapping unwrapping down at christmas time so we can quickly go downstairs and play with all of our new socks um, but um, a lot of times, the big thing with the winter running socks, and um, a lot of people do like low socks. Unfortunately, the lower socks doesn't really do much for that little gap of skin between your sock top and the bottom of your pants or your tights. So a lot of times people go to a slightly longer sock, this one being a quarter, uh, this is another quarter, this one, yes, it's gloves for your toes. Basically very popular with the trail running gang. Um, keeps the friction uh, from uh, not building up too badly between the toes. Um, slightly longer, more four inch crew type socks. Definitely keeping the Achilles well taken care of. This one obviously in a high vis type color from Swiftwick. And then uh, always popular, the Darn Tough brand with us. Um, the Darn Tough, we like it as well as the Wigwam. Uh, both of them are lifetime guarantees, so it's like a no-brainer when if you wear a, a whole Terracine, you bring that pair of, pack, pair of socks back to the retailer, and they replace them, no questions asked. Again, um, can't be complete without a pair of socks in your stocking. Thanks. Have a good night or a good day, and we'll see you soon out the pathway.